The judging process was not ready for 200 entries. <laughs> we chose 10 of them, and the company paused for about six weeks to work on this. We thought it was that important. We thought, what can we do to make these things real? And so some of them, you know, like broom. What's it like to have a race course? Go through your living room and go under the table, go on top of chairs, go on the ceiling, go on the shelves up, up here, do all sorts of interesting things. This is one of the ones we actually made a demo of. The thing we found out here was making the track awesome fun, cool. You're laying it along, it's going cool, it's going over the, it's going through the environment, doing cool things. Racing the cars on the track, not so good. Kind of hard, sucked really. <laughs> For all the same reasons, if you've ever had a remote control car, people stand still because the up, down, left, right on a remote control car is really difficult. And when you're saying you've got to move around the room because you've got to look under your coffee table, all of a sudden the up, down, left, right becomes bizarre. I'm not saying that we couldn't go find the solution here, but we didn't find it with broom. But we learned a lot. We learned a lot about controls. Impulse. Impulse is all about dancing and moving, and ha having mixed reality help you go move your body, and move around, and, do, and learn how to dance, learn how to do yoga, learn how to actually stand still, which would be great for me, right? Um, and it was incredible. You'd see these orbs in front of you, you'd stand and do things, and you'd walk different, and you'd learn something different about yourself just from that. And I've never experienced anything like that before. And the sound as it did it was just, you know, it, you know, it was you know, a very zen moment. And then we had catastrophe. Because everyone loves internet cats. <laughs> and so the pitch for catastrophe was I'm a crazy cat person and I have 20 cats. And they're all running around my world and my room and living with me. And I have, as controls, a thing that sprays water, a laser pointer, and a little bell. And those are the three controls I have in order to play with my cats. And the goal was to herd the cats into their carrier. <laughs> and the, the thing we learned was, Everyone knew that this was the three controls they had, but everyone would shuffle their feet and move their feet through and kind of like try and move the cat with, with their feet. It, we didn't recognize feet at the time. You know, that's, that's not something that, you know, that we did, but everyone at the end of it said, moving my feet made a big difference. Graham, that, that's the key to winning this game. <laughs> the, the other thing we did was, and thank God for 3D printing, we made things the cats would play with. You could put them down on the ground, and you could go, you know, the cats would jump through those things and crawl through them and end up in the carrier. This one, Pitchfest, <laughs> this is the winning entry. <laughs>